Pete here for Studio Live today and welcome to another GarageBand for iPhone quick tip. So one of the cool new features that's been added to version 2.1, the latest version of GarageBand, is automation. Now if you've ever used a door or a digital audio workstation on a PC or a Mac or some other platform, you'll be familiar with automation. And what automation can do on GarageBand for iPhone is help you control the volume of your tracks. So I have a track here which is a, a, a bit of a dance track and I'll just play a little bit of that. So uh, it starts with some, some drum and bass and then down here at uh, bar 9 you can see we have a synth uh, loop that starts here, we'll just play that. So that's what sounds. That's what that sounds like. And then here at bar 17 in the next section, we have the synth, but we also have a guitar. So we'll play that. And you can hear that the you can hear the guitar, but the synth is still going in what I feel is a little bit too loud. So um, we could go into that clip and start sort of adjusting and playing with it. But the new automation feature lets us do this in a really easy way. So if we slide out the track controls like that and we tap on this synth track, we can go across here with a little arrow and we'll see a new automation feature. So you can see this opened up some automation uh, settings here on the track and what we can now do is add in our automation points because what we want to do is drop the volume here at bar number 17 of this synth track so that we can hear our guitars a little bit better. So the first thing we need to do is turn on up the top here by sliding that slider and that turns on our ability to add some points and we're going to tap on there to add one volume point and then tap again just next to it to add another volume point. So what this is adding is um, points that the volume can then change and we can then drag this up or down and you can see our volume slider will go up and down dependent on where we put that. So what you can do is you can have a, a narrow curve um, that where you're going to take it down gently, so a, a sort of slight gradient where it'll fade out. But what we actually want with this one is we want it to drop the volume immediately at bar 17 so that when our guitar kicks in, our synth volume drops. So if we take this across to the left and put it directly under bar 17, you can see there now that we have a direct volume change. So it will go there from the original volume. If we slide this over, there's our original volume of our synth. And then at that point, the volume will drop down to there. So if you want to hear what that sounds like, we'll come back to here and hit play. And you can hear there, I'll stop that. You can hear there that our, uh, our little synth loop is actually dropped down in volume and is now sitting under our guitar loop down here. So it's a really quick and easy way to add a little bit of variance to a track to make sure that your instruments are going to sit well together and when you've got a track like this where you've got different instruments coming in you may want to do something like this to make sure your volumes are matched. So we'll just turn off our automation there and hit the done and then our automation goes away and now we're back to a normal track view and if we slide out we can tell that there's automation on this volume track because it's got now a yellow circle there. So we know that there's some sort of automation there and as we go along the track at the top here, you can see there the volume as it is there and then as we go past this point, the volume will drop down. If you want to go back and edit that automation, we just tap it again, tap across, hit automation and we can go ahead and adjust our automation that way. So I hope you found this useful and uh, that you can use automation in your next song in GarageBand and thanks for watching.